guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 6 of No Guns Life, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The cat food. Oh, it's just strumming. Ew. It is so gross. <laughs> it makes so many people throw the fuck up. Like, ew. <laughs> Yeah, him. You don't want that, would you? Hi, Shabby. <laughs> that has to be him right there. That picture with her. Hmm. So maybe they knew each other in the past? Since he's ex military too, so maybe. Holy shit. Maybe he had PTSD or something. I mean, I'm not 100% sure about that. I mean, you know. Oh, no, that's supposed to be him. Okay. <clears throat> but he had something.
Okay, so the first two are just randoms, and the third one was somebody, like, really important. Which makes sense, but you would think he would just go after important people, but he's the type of killer who's just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go after anyone, and I don't care who it is. Well, that's great. Mm, yeah. But what though? But what if you can't? <clears throat> father or something? Nice. <laughs> I mean, shit, I do the same thing too, but I mean, I'm making deception for him. I would wait. But, but I would have been like, hey, you got a weapon for me to keep while you gone. Jesus, man. Hey, it happens like that sometimes.
course you would be here. I mean, y'all can't get along? Like, I DM. We already know that from last week, but dude, seriously. Yeah, but you think even though he got orders, he gonna leave her alone? No, come on, no. Yeah, her had a dude. Jesus Hush, I'm almost done. No. Cody. Dog that hurts. Watch are you okay? They're all soldiers. Oh. Look at those only two left. It's famous as fuck. Now imagine him like getting killed. No, you're just too big. <laughs> you're right about that, though. It's a nice ass card. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's get speaker. Jesus Christ, dude. Because you... I mean, but hey, it is the best way to kill him when he walks out. Somebody can take a really nice clear shot and go, bam. Because let me guess, Army looks like you, right? Let me see him. No! Hand wise, yeah, but face wise, no. Cool, though. A shame that somebody wants to kill him. Yeah. Why do I feel like that little There's something in them flowers You can't trust kids The kid was basically a fucking distraction. Are we seriously going to just take the kid too? But I mean, but okay. You two can't work together for like five seconds. Oh. 
Hello? Yeah, we meant to do that. Of course not. It would have been too easy. It's got to do with that child. It has to do with that child. If it's not that little girl, it's somebody else in that room with her. Thank you. So who was it? Told you it was a see, you never trust the little girls. You literally brought him to you. <sighs> that praised me more, like especially when the when she said it, it was like something about that did not seem right to me. You basically took him with you, and you have no one to blame but yourself. He gonna die. He is going to die in this next episode. Juzo and Wilson's face are not going to be able to rescue him in time. But the fact is, these two, oh my god, I, I like I love Juzo. Everybody knows how much I love him because freaking you know who his voice actor is. But dude. Silver hair dude, I you know what? I have a love hate relationship with him, man. Like I just need these two to work together for five minutes and stop being a holes. Really, one is being more of an a hole than the other. I understand. Yes, that is your car. I get that. I've met guys who are like, yes, my car is my everything. Yes, yes, yes. Bullshit, 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 and shit and everything. But I mean, you made that wide freaking turn. And yes, he automatically hit it. So it ain't Juzo's fault. It's your fault. Who in the world makes a really nice, sharp, white-ass turn and then stops? <laughs> like, honestly, that is not the sort of thing to do. Slow your ass down. Like, oh my god. I understand we gotta hurry up and get there, but Jesus Christ, think about everybody who you have in the car. It's two people in that small behind car. Now, if it was, like, maybe a truck, then I'd be like, yeah, whatever, do whatever. But, I mean, that's, like, a re it's a really nice car, but, like, damn. Dude. Fence like this. Like, mm, okay. I don't want them to be, I don't want it to be, like, yeah, like, they're getting their eyes like he's gonna ready to kill him. Army, I want them to rescue Army ASAP so they can eventually get dude, come back alive, and then do this court issue that um, Olivier wants to do. Do I necessarily think they're going to do it? Probably not. I mean, she has, she she needs to just get over this, and that's what I feel like, you know, eventually is going to happen in this next following episode, where they're going to have the court thing. They may, this episode, or this arc, maybe like two or three episodes, I'm not 100% sure. But I really think what they should have done is, even though Juzo is working with dude, essentially Juzo is working on his own. I think, in my opinion, Olivier should have been a little more help into this than, you know, just really in a few minutes of this episode, like maybe for five minutes of the show, where she's just sitting there talking to him and giving him information. She should have went to the, um, to the house of the third victim and then eventually... How I, like, cooled those two down, talked it out, and then continued on with it. Because three heads are better than just two. I mean, these two are just, ba like, every single moment they bicker or they fight. And then he wants to throw his freaking goddamn needles for some stupid reason. I mean, like, yeah, it's smart, but at the same time, it's dumb. But, I mean, yeah, they work together, kind of. They're, like, an opposite, um attracts moment like it, it, like oh they work like in the beginning they're not working well together but by the time they like maybe even you know 
this next episode, which will be episode seven or even episode eight, they may have a different relationship. They may respect each other, but it's like, okay, we really still can't work together anymore because of the fact is the last time we worked together, it still didn't what it didn't work out, and who knows if it might work out again. But I mean, since this is just their first episode together working together as a team. I necessarily can't really say anything until, you know, the next episode or really part two or even part three, depending on how long this arc is going to go, essentially how it could possibly be in the, in the future. But I mean, they're both interesting. I just think Juso should have went up with Olivier and then maybe, you know, <laughs> to throw because that would have been a little bit better for him because he could at least had someone who was a comrade and then someone who was also working for help him instead of like, the opposite of tracks moment because you know sometimes like i said that does not always work out but other than that guys that is my reaction to be towards episode six of no guns life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course i will see you guys especially all next thursday for episode seven bye guys